Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we'll be talking about landscape photography lenses, what you should be looking for in a lens, and why I think you should only be using two lenses, right after this. Hey, what's up guys and welcome into the video. On this channel, we talk landscape photography, how you can shoot better photographs, taking you out into the field, showing you different techniques, post-processing techniques, and even gear reviews. So if you're new here or you're into landscape photography, consider subscribing below. Now in this video specifically, we're talking landscape photography lenses. What, what lenses should you buy? There's so many lenses floating around that you can get your hands on and that so many people have different opinions about which ones are right. Well, I think that comes along with some thought. I used to try to get my hands on every single landscape photography lens that I possibly could. And what it did was actually overwhelm my head in the field. I, I overthought shots. I overthought what I was doing with compositions, which lenses to use, what settings that lenses had capable. And I overthought my photography. And in result, overthinking your photographs actually ends up sometimes ruining a photograph. So you have to get into the feel of what lens you should use, what lens you should pick, and how you should frame the composition. Now, what lenses do you need in landscape photography? I really think that in landscape photography, there's a progression of style with your lens selection. So when you start out, you want those epic scenes, like those huge landscapes with intense foregrounds. Like you wanna fit everything into that frame and really complete a huge landscape photograph that you can show off. Like those epic scenes are the ones that get all the Instagram likes, all the Facebook shares. Like those are really great photos and I love those. You can create them with smaller scenes or grand vistas, whatever you wanna shoot with wide angles you can do. But there's a natural progression with that. Like sometimes when you get tired of using the wide angle, like when I started out, I used wide angle all the time. I always shot with a wide angle. It was wide angle all the way, wide angle, wide angle, wide angle. And I can't say that enough. Like when you start out, that's great. And I still shoot wide angle all the time, but there becomes a natural progression that you want to move towards simplifying your photography. Like what is the subject of the image? What can you shoot? How can you make it stand out? How can you remove some of that clutter from your landscape images? Like what's the main subject here? Is it just a mountain? Well, do you really need a foreground or can it just be a mountain? Like, can it just be a portrait, for lack of a better term, of that mountain? Like a portrait image of just the face of that mountain. Can that be the overall image? Well, I think so. And I think that's where the natural progression of lenses comes into play. Like so many times you want to use the wide angle, but you switch instead later to a telephoto or a 70 to 200. So which two lenses do I use and, and why do I recommend only using two lenses for landscape photography? I know people are thinking right now, well, what about like the macro lenses? What if you see macros? What if you see this and that? Like, should you use a 50 mil in the field? Should you take all these lenses with you? Look, if you're into that and you want to take your macro lens, have at it and go for it. But I want to try to challenge you to only use two lenses for landscape photography. The two lenses I use are a wide angle and a 70 to 200. They're literally the only two lenses I carry in my bag when I go to shoot landscapes. Why? It's because it allows me to simplify my photography and not overthink my shots. Simplifying the photography is simplifying what the subject actually is and creating a composition around that subject. Trying to decide what to fit in the frame, what to take out, what to include. That's basically what simplifying your photograph is. And I only use two lenses to do that. I use a Rokinon 12 millimeter F2, which you can see the review on this lens in the top corner of your screen. If you click on that card, it'll take you right to that review. And I also use a Sony F4 70 to 200 lens for like those detail shots, those mountain portraits that I talked about earlier. This lens can do it. This lens is great for fitting those huge landscape scenes into the frame. This lens is great for the detail shots. 
These two lenses are literally the only two lenses I use for landscape photography. I don't use a 50 mil, I don't use a macro, even though I've reviewed some macro lenses. And you can literally shoot everything with two lenses like these. Now I know everybody's not a Sony shooter, so these lenses may not be right for your photography specifically, but there are also wide angles in 70 to 200s that are gonna match your camera that you use that you can invest in or you can sell your other lenses, put some more cash in your pockets and go out and shoot more simplified, detailed photographs. Even if you don't sell off your lenses, I challenge you to go out, spend a month just taking these two lenses in your bag and seeing how it improves your photography over a month's time. Now, I truly believe in landscape photography that there is an obsession with photography gear and I'm right there with you. I fall into the same trap, but as you try to create better images rather than creating images with gear, when you switch from this gear creates this image to, hey, I'm the photographer and I control my gear, I show it what to shoot, I control the compositions, I control the light in this photograph, that's when you transition to being a better photographer. That's when you transition from your gear controls you to you control your gear. Look, you can spend all day out in the field testing different gear out, and that's fun to do and it's great to do, but when you take control of your own photography and start crafting these images based on your terms, that's when you create your own style. That's when you simplify your photography. And I wanna challenge you to do that using two lenses, wide angle, 70 to 200. It may be difficult at first, but I think after using these two lenses for a month's time, you'll see that your photography in return will yield better photographs and you'll have a better portfolio of the images you go out and shoot. Trust me on this, test this out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you're into landscape photography, subscribe below because we come out with these videos all the time. Smash that thumbs up button. These two lenses are linked below in the video description. And always, if you wanna keep watching, here's a video on using these two lenses and shooting landscape photography in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Or here's a video that YouTube wants you to watch based on your search terms.